Hey, you have those awesome sliding glass shower doors in your RV? Hey y'all, Jimmy and Lisa with Finest Camping, bringing you another Tuesday Talks for RVers. So, do you have those awesome doors? Nobody has those awesome doors because they're not awesome. Why not? Of course, that's just my opinion, but... Um, so they look great and they make the bathroom feel real open because they're glass and they're clear. And but they're, they're not, a nightmare. Well, they're not so bad to keep clean. The part that's hard to keep clean is where they come together because my fingers don't fit in that crack. I can keep the doors clean, but where they overlap one another, I don't know what you're supposed to so do. So she's in there clean. with a toothbrush. Hate them. I love the idea of them. I love the fact that it makes the bathroom seem bigger because it's all the way open to the wall. But my problem is yeah. I'm a little wider than Ish. those doors are. So when I try to wash my hair, which I don't have much of, <laughs> I hit my elbows and my shoulders, everything on the door. So The sad thing is when we ordered our RV, we ordered it without the shower doors. But then we decided that we would pay attention but maybe not our kids or other people that were traveling with us who didn't understand how bad water water and, and RVs campers just don't, don't get, along. get along and there's only a very shallow lip going into our shower because it's not a tub so it's just this little bit and i was so afraid that people would take a shower and they wouldn't pay attention and if we just had a curtain instead of the doors that it would fall out there'd be water all over the floor and we all know where that would lead. Water in the RV, not good. So now she just lays a rug, and they raise a, <laughs> a, a towel down right, right by right the door. Right up against the door because newsflash, the doors leak too. Ours so don't leak, they were full of caulk. The doors didn't leak, but where the, top, the side track and the bottom track, or whatever you call it, the frame comes together, they don't even meet. They don't even meet in that corner. There's just this big glob of caulk in there. And apparently it does such a great job that water got down under it and under the bottom track. Full of mold. So we would mold only... Mold and dirty, just nasty. nasty water. So my love-hate relationship with the shower doors had to come to an out. end. Out. In we, a campground. We're pulling them out of there. The sad thing is I bought caulk and I said, let's just pull this caulk out and re-caulk it the correct way and it'll all be okay. And then when I started ripping the caulk out and I found that there was mold under it, Got to go. The doors just had to go. So. In the campground. Just a couple screws. To the dumpster. Just a couple of this. To the dumpster. To the dumpster. With the doors. And now we found. Extend a shower shower rod. So. We went to Camping World. Which. No plug there. But they do carry a lot of stuff in stock for RVers. So. Off we went to Camping World. To get this extend a shower rod so basically it's hinged so it attaches to the wall on either side and then it comes out and there's a hinge on either side and then another straight rod a total of four screws that's it that's it four screws, four screws. up it went um i will say because our ceiling is a little lower in there and like where our shower and the ceiling come together because of all that we had to put it a little lower probably than it was designed. So I had to trim the bottom of my shower curtain, but no worries. Like, I mean, scissors to the bottom of the, to the vinyl one. And then um, I bought a fabric one and I'm just gonna cut it off and hem it. So no big deal there. Um, took us about 10 minutes to put up. Yeah. If, <laughs> that was it. If minutes. that. Um, it took me longer to scrape the old caulk. You're still not done with still that. Still not done with that. I'm gonna have to find something that works better than what I was trying to use. So to do you have any off, ideas how we can get that off a little bit easier? I read that there's some kind of caulk remover, something you can put on it, but when I was at Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever I was, I, I couldn't find it. So perhaps another trip to Lowe's or Home Depot okay. is in our future. Help me. But I Tell got me a lot what of to it. use. I got a lot of it off. Um, but anyway, so the shower rod's really cool. And if you're not familiar with it, the way it works is kind of like an elbow. So it's out like this. And you push one side in and then the other side in. And then the whole shower curtain goes into the shower, not quite up against the wall, but way in. And then when you want to get in the shower, you reverse it and pull it out. So it adds about, let me say this much, maybe a foot. So. And guess what? It I adds have shoulder about a room now. So I can he take has a lots of room in there. I can put my arms out when I'm washing my hair. Um, 
And when you're done, you just push, push it, it back, back in. in there. So no nasty shower doors to scrub. No trying to get in between the shower doors. Plus when you're done and if you're washing clothes or you have something wet, yeah, you because can hang it pops them right in. on there. And you bathing hang, suits, you know. Everything drips wet right on the How many into times the, have your kids shower? come back from the pool with their bathing suits and they hang them over the shower and then it drips all on the floor? So with these, you could just open the curtain all the way. You can hang them over the rod or put them on a clothes hanger, hang them up on the rod, and they can drip dry. That's fine because they're going to drip into the floor of the shower instead of into the floor of the RV. And you don't have to have them on a drying rack outside to blow over and then be covered in mud because that's never happened either. <laughs> So, if you guys like this, we will put a link down below so you can find them. You can get them. They're real easy to install. Anybody can install them. It's just four, yeah, four screws, screws and It you're literally done. was harder to take the old ones out than it was the doors out to put this thing up. And, like I said, cut off the bottom of the shower curtain. And we're golden. And it sounds like a lot of you guys are starting to like these videos. So, if you're starting to like these videos, make sure you give us those thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you won't mix, miss next Tuesdays. And don't forget to ring the bell. Until the next time you guys find us camping. Safe travels, everyone. And now we found... I don't remember what it's called. Extend a... Extend a shower, I think.